morning class. My name is uh, Hiromi Akanda. I'm a teacher of English. Okay, our today's uh, topic uh, is about sport, and uh, the grid is a uh, terminal CD, and uh, the theme is uh, about sport. So, as we said uh, last time, uh, the previous lesson was about uh, music, and uh, today we are going to learn. Uh, sport. Okay. What is uh, the main interest really learning a sport? Uh, the main interest is that uh, at the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to have uh, a good vocabulary related to different types of uh, sport. And uh, we don't forget all the useful expressions uh, related to them. Okay, uh, what do we call by sports? According to the Oxford Dictionary, sports are games, then other competitive leisure activities which need physical effort and skills. Sports are games and other competitive leisure activities which need we are physical effort and skill. That means we have. Uh, Two key words, we have effort and skill. But this effort, we need our physique, our body, okay, to make effort in order to achieve some goals when we are practicing uh, a sport and so forth. So our lesson is divided into uh, four parts. The first part is about different types of uh, sport. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd, I'd like you to have a look at different uh, pictures. Uh, the first picture, in the first picture, we have uh, some sport equipment, some sport equipment uh, uh, such as hockey stick, gloves, googers, we have uh, ice skates, uh, uh, boots, we have bats, for example, when you are playing a uh, baseball, okay, we need uh, a bat. We have uh, a helmet too, racket, as I say, scary, so a ball. And it, uh, in this case, in the first uh, picture, uh, picture, we have uh, two balls. Okay, the first one is a uh, ball related to football, and the second one is uh, about tennis, so it's about baseball and so forth. Uh, after the first picture, in the second picture, we have uh, a player. A player is holding a ball. And when we see, his name is uh, Sergi Baka. And we also know, uh, what do you say, uh, the sport uh, th that uh, Mr. Ibaka is uh, practicing. We have, in this picture, uh, Ibaka wears is sport where we have uh, a ball, have uh, what do you say, uh, and uh, some uniform. But uh, it's th this uniform is called a sport wear and so forth. And uh, it is a number is nine. And the name of uh, the team is Raptors. So Ibaka is a basketball player. So we have uh, the first uh, picture. As far as the, second, uh, the third picture is concerned, we have uh, a football player. His name is uh, Samuel Eto'o. We know Samuel Eto'o is one of uh, the best players in the world. As far as uh, the fourth uh, picture is concerned, we have a boxer. Boxer, uh, his name is uh, Anakle Wamba, is uh, from Congo Brazzaville. As a Bakai is uh, also from Congo Brazzaville. And uh, 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 Samuel Ito is from Cameroon, and Wamba is from Congo Brazzaville. We have the, the, the fifth picture. Uh, the fifth picture, we have Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt is, uh, what do you say, a racer, is an athlete, is from Jamaica, one of the birds in the world, too. And uh, we have the sixth picture, we have Tiger Wood. Tiger Wood, uh, he plays, what do you say, we call it by golf. Golf is uh, 
a tap of uh, sport too. And uh, the last one, we have uh, Serena Williams, one of the best of tennis players in the world. So they are all what we call by uh, sports uh, persons or sports people. And uh, as far as uh, the, the, the second picture, the third picture, the fourth picture, uh, the fifth picture and the sixth picture, they are all sportsmen. Donc ce sont tous des sportifs. En anglais, on appelle un sportif par un sportman. Tandis que si c'est une dame qui pratique le sport, on l'appelle un sportwoman. Donc la dernière photo, nous avons Serena Williams qui est originaire des États-Unis. Donc elle est sportive. OK, let's be back to the different uh, type of sports. As we said, we have the first one is aerobics, the second one baseball, the third one cycling, uh, the fourth one fishing, we have uh, football, gymnastics, okay, judo, skiing, swimming, and wrestling. Different, but we, there are numerous, or oh, there are too many uh, uh, type of uh, sport in the world. Uh, we can add uh, tennis, or uh, uh, we can add, uh, what do you say, apart from okay, tennis, uh, we have uh, volleyball too, uh, and uh, we have many, many types of uh, uh, sport. As far as the vocabulary is concerned, we have uh, some words related to sport. When we practice the sport, we need, when we practice a sport, we need a good vocabulary. That means uh, for the, uh, people who are in terminal, uh, they need some English expressions related to sport in order to uh, be successful. Uh, we have ball, we have boots, we have uh, kickoff, offside, defeat, victory, goalkeeper, defender, attacker, score, penalty area, referee, corner kick, linesman, goal, goal post. Allez, nous avons un vocabulaire particulier, c'est-à-dire lié euh, au sport. C'est important pour les élèves qui seront donc candidats euh, au bac, particulièrement ceux des séries scientifiques. Ces mots sont également importants pour une bonne construction euh, intellectuelle parce que vous avez tel que ball, ball en français c'est une balle, ball, boot, des bottines, kick-off c'est le coup d'envoi, le départ, off-site. C'est hors-jeu. Quand vous êtes hors-jeu, au cours d'une compétition, surtout lorsqu'il s'agit de football, on dit off-site. Donc, ça permet donc aux élèves de terminale d'affronter en toute objectivité, sans peur, le bac, en ayant déjà un vocabulaire assez étoffé sur le thème que nous, avons, que nous sommes en train d'aborder. Donc, ici... La, la thématique d'aujourd'hui permet donc de fournir des informations pour que nos candidats soient aptes à affronter donc le bac. Ici donc nous avons quelques, on a utilisé justement quelques mots. Nous avons defender, defender, lorsqu'on fait un classement, nous avons chaque joueur à un poste particulier. Lorsqu'il s'agit généralement du football, we have defender, attacker, uh, we can add, on peut ajouter. Uh, Midfielder, milieu de terrain. Score, c'est le score. C'est aussi un verbe, à la fois non et un verbe. A penalty area, c'est la surface de réparation. Referee, c'est l'arbitre lorsqu'il s'agit de football, baseball et ainsi de suite. Mais lorsqu'il s'agit plutôt de, du tennis, on dit umpire, donc, qui est considéré comme l'arbitre, donc le juge. Corner kick. Corner, linesman, c'est euh, l'arbitre de touche. Goal, c'est un but. To score a goal, marquer un but. 
Goal post, le poteau. Goal keeper, gardien de but. Victory, victoire. Defeat, a defeat. So it's, it's important for learners to have a good vocabulary related to uh, sport. Uh, this, the third part is about uh, useful expressions about sport. The first one, the first expression is uh, to score a goal. Marquer un but. To score a goal. We have to kick the ball. Frapper la balle. To pass the ball. Faire la passe. To play. Jouer. To score a goal. Marquer un but. To kick the ball. Frapper la balle. To pass the ball. À faire la passe. To play. Jouer. To win. Gagner. C'est une expression qui est couramment utilisée. To win. Six. To lose. Seven. To eat. Eight. To rain. Nine. To succeed. Monsieur. Donc, une fois, c'est importante notion apprise par l'apprenant. Je crois que l'examen ne sera qu'un petit détail. Donc, ici, il s'agit de donner des informations importantes pour ce qui est donc du sport. Donc, pour une petite révision, on revient donc sur les notions précédemment donc enseignées. Nous avons donc different types of sport, c'est-à-dire les différents types de sport. Je dis, il y en a plusieurs, mais pour les besoins d'économie de temps, nous sommes obligés donc de étudier quelques euh, types de sport. Baseball, cycling, judo, hockey, hockey, swimming, et so forth. Nous avons aussi quelques mots de vocabulaire. Vous avez ball, boot, kick-off, offside, defeat, victory, goalkeeper, parce que la prononciation est également importante. Vous avez victory. Victory. Le O là devient une lettre silencieuse, donc euh, la lettre O n'est pas prononcée. Victory, goalkeeper, or defender, attacker, score, penalty area, referee, corner kick, lancement, goal, goal post. And we have uh, uh, some useful expressions about sports, uh, such as to score a goal, to kick the ball, to pass the ball, to play, to win, to lose, to eat, to run, to succeed. Okay, uh, concerning the, the last part, the last part we are going to deal some, uh, uh, with some exercises. Uh, the first exercise, the first exercise uh, is you are asked to choose the right word. One, we need 11 players to practice this sport. Okay, it's a, a multiple choice question. We have uh, three proposals. Nous avons trois propositions. Volleyball, football, basketball. Okay, question two. People ride, we are people ride bicycles in this uh, sport. Uh, we also have uh, three proposals. A, cycling, B, Skateboarding, C, skin. Three, it can be practiced in the swimming pool. A, tennis, B, swimming, C, boxing. And uh, we have, uh, okay, the last sentence is, uh, the last question, we practice this sport in winter and we need some snow. A, Boring, B, a skin, C, a swimming. We say we practice this sport at a winter end. We need some sort of. The first information is very important if we want to do these exercises. The first one, as we say, learners are going to choose the right word. Right. Let's be back to the first question. The first question, the instruction is you are going, because uh, the instruction is very important for uh, papers. One, we need 11 players. 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven players to practice this sport. Which one? Volleyball, football, or baseball? According to yes, uh, better the right word is football because we need 11 players to practice it. Okay, 11. We have a goalkeeper, a goalkeeper. We have defenders. We have uh, attackers. We have uh, midfields and uh, so forth. So the right answer is we have one and uh, B. One and uh, B. Okay, let's move uh, to the second question. The second question is, uh, the instruction is uh, the following. People ride uh, bicycles in this sport. We have A, cycling, B, skateboarding, and C, skiing. Okay, which of the following sport is uh, the correct one? Cycling, skateboarding, or skiing? Let's repeat. People ride bicycles in this sport. A, cycling, B, skateboarding, C, skiing. According to you, which one is uh, the correct answer? Okay, the correct one is uh, A, cycling. Okay, we have bicycles, cycling, cycling. So let's write one and A. Number three, it can be practiced in the swimming pool. The first sentence is very important. It can be practiced in the swimming pool. A, tennis, B, swimming, and the last letter is C, boxing. Okay, tennis, swimming, and boxing. Let's repeat. It can be practiced in the swimming pool. One, tennis, B, swimming, C, boxing. So, the first answer, or the right word, is B. Okay, because of swimming is practice in the swimming pool. Swimming, swimming. So, we have, uh, okay, the last one. We practice this sport in winter and we need some snow. We practice this sport in winter, and we need some snow. So in Western countries, or in some countries uh, in Africa, uh, there are four seasons. Four seasons. We have winter, we have spring, we have autumn, okay? And we have summer. Winter, and snow. We have two keywords, winter and snow. And uh, we also have uh, three proposals, for proposition. A, boring, B, skiing, and C, swimming. You are asked to choose the right word. Is the right word boring, skiing, or swimming? The, uh, the right word or the best answer is uh, B, skin. Because uh, skin is a practice, uh, especially in the winter, and we need some snow, snow neige. Right, let's move to 
uh, the second exercise. Exercise two. Uh, reorder these words to get meaningful sentences. Reorder these words to get meaningful sentences. It's better for you uh, to first of all count the number of words we have uh, in a sentence. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you have uh, a full stop. Okay, what about the right answer? So you are asked to reorder these words as to get meaningful sentences. Can 80,000 the old stadium and the last one is people. Let's clean this part. We have one, we have can, 80, a thousand, the old stadium and people. Okay, let's give uh, some answers. We have one, can, 80,000, the old stadium people. We say the subject we have the definite article, the stadium can a model verb old the main verb is old. We have eighty thousand people. So what is it the Right answer is uh, the stadium can hold 80,000 people. On le stade peut recevoir 80,000 personnes. So we have, in English, we have 80,000 people. Certains élèves ont souvent des difficultés à lire les chiffres en anglais, les nombres et ainsi de suite. Vous avez 80,000 en anglais, on commence par 80 et on ajoute 1,000. Lorsqu'il s'agit par exemple de 10 000, 10 000, on dit 10 000, 20 000, 20 000, 1 000, 2 000, 2 000, 2 000. Donc 10 000, 20 000, 1 000, 1 000 et 2 000. So we have uh, the stadium can hold 80,000 people. Okay, the following uh, sentence is uh, we have football players dear a 11. We have uh, 11 team are and uh, in football. Players, dear, a, 11, team, are, in. What is it? We have, first of all, there are. Why there are? There are. Because uh, we have, uh, the subject is in plural. That's why we have there are. Okay, we use there is when the subject is in singular. So we are going to say there are 11. There are 11 players. 11 players in a football in a football team. There are 11 players in a football team. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
That means the center is correct. Number three, the eight rhyme in competitors and race. The eight rhyme in competitors and race. The nature of each word is uh, very necessary because we have the is an article, eight number, rhyme, a verb in the simple past. And we have a preposition, a preposition of a place. Competitor is a noun, and the race is a noun too. Okay. What is the center? The center is we have first of all, we have eight. Eight competitors. Teachers rhyme in the race. We have, let's count again, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That means the sentence is correct. Eight competitors rhyme in the race. For the last one, we have Skills, great, is, art, football, and brother. We have skills, great, is, art, football. So, you say, is, brothers, add great football skills. Is brother a great football football skills? Is brother a great football skills? So we have uh, the correct answers, we have one, two, three, four correct answers. The first one is, we have, first of all, can 80,000, the old stadium people. The answer is, the stadium can hold 80,000 people. Number two, football players, there, a, 11, team, are in. The answer is, there are 11 players in a football team. The eight run in a competitor's race. The eight run in a competitor's race. Okay, the right answer is eight competitors run in the race. The last one, skills, great is at football, brother. The right answer is, is a brother at great football skills. So, uh, let's be back to uh, the title of the lesson. Uh, today's lesson was about uh, sports. And uh, you will learn different types of uh, sports. We have aerobics, baseball, cycling. We have fishing, football, gymnastics, hockey, judo, skiing, uh, swimming, and wrestling. Was about vocabulary related to sports. Okay, we quoted ball, boot, kicked off, offside, defeat, victory, goalkeeper, defender, attacker, score, penalty area, referee, referee, corner kick, landsman, goal, goal post. I'll consider some useful expressions the third part of our today's lesson, uh, to score a goal, my can be to kick the ball, frappe la bat, to pass the ball, fait la passe, to play, jouer, to win, gagner, to lose, perdre, to eat, frappe, gagner, to run, courir, to succeed, réussir. So thank you very much for watching us. Let's meet next time. <laughs>
Thank you.